At least shootings can be difficult for anyone to understand, and for kids, the images can be especially traumatic. Experts say providing your child with answers about what happened can help them cope with their feelings about the shooting. NBC 26's Brian Miller joins us in the newsroom and continues our live team coverage. Yes, thank you, Cassandra. Now, this shooting, even though it happened hundreds of miles away, kids here right at home can still be affected. Now, experts say that reminding children just how rare this type of violence is can help them feel safer at school. The images from the Connecticut school shooting can be scary, especially for children. Experts say talking to youngsters about the tragedy is important to help kids feel safe. The children, it's important for them to know that their parents are also very much in charge of their safety, right? In charge of helping them cope with these kinds of tragedies. My heart just became very heavy and shed a lot of tears. That's parent Monica Pomsall's reaction. She says she'll have to talk to her four-year-old daughter about it one day. There'll have to be some safety conversations, and um, but it's my job as a parent to take care of that. The Pittners are parents of three kids between 7 and 11 years old. They're preparing to talk with their kids about the shootings. Get them prepared because I'm sure the kids will be talking about it at school on Monday. So we'll just tell them how, how we feel that they will be safe at school and they shouldn't be scared. Experts say every child, regardless of age, will react differently to what happened. We like parents to uh, approach their children with somewhat of an open mind, right, about how their children might be seeing this or coping with it. Because it's very different, right? And it's different among children, right? It's different among different age groups. Therapists believe it's important for parents to come to terms with the issue before talking about it with kids so you can reassure them they're safe without scaring them. And experts say you should look out for a couple of warning signs that your kids are having problems dealing with tragedies like this one. A couple of those warning signs include changing in ap appetite or changing in sleeping habits. Now, if you notice any of those changes and they are persistent, you should seek professional help. Live in the Green Bay Newsroom, Brian Miller, NBC 26.